What is up, Armaniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of my apartment. And uh, I think I think we're going to kind of change things up. Um, something I've been thinking about for a while. Um, we're going to try some, some different type of content on the channel. <laughs> uh, and some of that's some of the stuff that you guys have been interested in for a while. Um, some of it, not so much. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, we're just going to give it a shot for a little bit. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're no worse off than we are now. <laughs> um, so one of the things we're going to do... Uh, I think I'm going to title the series something along the lines of like 21 days to change my life or to make a change or something along those lines. I haven't quite decided, but hopefully by the time you see this, you'll know what we or what I have decided um, and we'll, you know, we'll see where we go. But things about, I guess what I'm wanting to put into this is, you know, for those of you guys who know, I had a hospital trip in april um had a little heart scare uh not a heart attack but um my heart was basically the top part of my heart was beating irregularly and incredibly fast incredibly fast uh, at one point in time i think it topped out at 222 which is uh insane insane and it was at 170 plus for eight nine hours which <laughs> is ridiculous um and so it's basically just due to weight and, you know, being lethargic and not doing anything. So, um, came back home, got on keto for the first like 30 days, burned, you know, and the other issue is I'm so heavy that we can't get a realistic, uh, measure of my weight, which is God, when you're, I mean, that's, that's when you know you're fat when like you can't get on a scale and tell. <laughs> so, um, that, that, that kind of was the wake up call. You know, I don't want to, don't want to leave my wife, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, things on her own. Cause, uh, I was, you know, cause weight loss and this is going to be controversial. Weight loss is easy. T you know, there's, there's a caveat there. The, the process by doing weight loss is easy. You know, a plus B equals C. It's very, very simple. The issue comes into, you know, with the willpower, you know, the coping, you know, there's, there's a lot of shame involved. There's a lot of, you know, other stuff, but the, the actual process of losing weight is easy. You know, like I said, all you got to do is reduce your calorie intake. Um, you need to, you need to do some form of activity. Um, technically you don't need to do activity if you reduce calories, but, um, doing the activity just makes everything better. You know, you, you burn more calories, you speed up your metabolism, you get to eat more. It's, it's better for your health. You know, it's, it, it is, there's no drawback other than the fact that you have to do it, which <laughs> coincidentally is the hard part. So, um, the whole point of, and, and I've been on my diet for, let's see, April, May, June, July. We're coming up on 90 days now. And I don't know how much weight I've lost again, cause my home scale isn't big enough for me. Um, and I don't know where I was to begin with. So, um, I have a rough idea, but you know, somewhere, somewhere between as, as one of my favorite comedians says, uh, between fluffy and damn, I was much more close to, to damn. So, um, I have lost about four inches off of my waist, which is pretty significant. Um, but we, we don't know what the actual weight limit is once we get, and that's our first major goal is get to the point where my home scale can register me. And that's our, our first big fireworks moment because that will that will mean we've lost at least 50 pounds and most likely significantly more so that's our that's our first goal um and then after that you know obviously we want to I, I need to lose after that another 150 pounds and then we'll be getting down to almost almost normal so and then <laughs> we'll have a little bit more to go after that you know after i lose the equivalent of two people um then we'll be back to normal so which is which is good you know at least i've got a plan i've got motivation now which i didn't have before but uh the problem for me has always been the exercise you know the diet diet's tough you know don't get me wrong uh especially when you know your method of 
or one of your methods of, you know, dealing with stress and coping and stuff like that is, uh, you know, eating or, you know, meals or food or desserts or whatever it is, you know, um, for me, you know, if you have a stressful day at work, you, you know, go hit up Red Lobster, get yourself a nice meal and it's all good, you know, but you just ate 2,700 calories in one meal and, you know, you're slowly killing yourself. So since, uh, since April, we've been under, under the, the caloric requirement, um, for me is 2,800 calories a day. Um, I think we've had two cheat days in 90 days. Uh, I try to I try not to do them, but you know, I have gone out to the movies once. Um, and then we had, uh, we had like July 4th where I might've gone a little over, um, both of those times though, if we went over, it was like for a cheat day, it, it wasn't. And then when I say cheat days, I don't do cheat days. I do cheat meals. And even on those, you know, we're talking like maybe 500 calories over, which is still 500 calories under maintenance. So, um, cheat days, cheat days are kind of interesting because the way my brother looks at it, you know, cheat days or cheat meals, what you're doing is, you know, you're taking a step back or two steps back or however many you want to you know, say, um, and those step back, they, they, they slow you down, but they, they keep your sanity. So it's, it's kind of, you know, the whole thing about this is, you know, you're not doing and this is why I think stuff like keto, paleo, Weight Watchers, whatever, I think those are bad um, because those are diets and they're, you know, most of them are pretty restrictive, most of them are pretty crazy. And I, I feel, I feel they're temporary. Whatever you decide to do something, it's long, t- this is long term, you know, this is for the rest of your life. And so when you, when you look at it from those standpoints, diets make less sense. What I mean by diets are like, major changes like you know i'm not gonna eat carbs anymore or i'm not gonna you know eat anything that's never been cooked or you know whatever it's easier if you can find a way to portion control because you you can still eat that cheeseburger if you want to you just have to you know maybe not have the large fry or maybe not have fries at all you know you can still have pizza if you want to it's just you're not gonna eat a large pizza by yourself anymore you're gonna have two slices and split it with the rest of your family so it, it does take some adaptation but it's it's doable. And for me, that's a lot more sustainable because, you know, you're letting that pressure valve off a little bit and it's not going to just hit you, you know, cause when you're on keto, man, I mean, there's a lot of difficulties with keto. I mean, it, it messes with your stomach guts, which is fine, but you know, it, it can be awkward for the first month, you know, and I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it's bad from a health perspective, although there are some people who believe that it is. Um, I'm just saying that it, it does make changes to your body and those changes are tough. So, uh, whereas if you're sticking with your normal diet, but you're just cutting back, um, it helps and you know, you're not going to have those issues. Um, one of the big streamers lyric, I like the way he puts it is, you know, just do whatever you were going to do, but cut it in half. You know, if you usually go and order two cheeseburgers at McDonald's, just eat one. You know, if you usually have, you know, this, have whatever it is in half. And that's good and not good. You know, you, you definitely need to track it because, you know, then that was one of the hardest things when I first started this is, you know, realizing how much you actually, how much you actually like how much food actually costs and by cost, I mean, caloric wise, you know, most people don't realize that a large pizza is 3,300 calories. You know, most people don't realize that, you know, a double cheeseburger for Wendy's is 950 calories and that, you know, a large fry is 550 calories or more, you know, and then you add sauces on top of that and it, it just gets ridiculous. And before you know it, you've eaten half of a caloric allotment in one meal and that food is not going to fill you up for the entire time. So now it's like, Oh shit, I just, you know, ate all of this. I'm going to be hungry in three hours and now I only have this many calories left what am I going to do so you know the key thing about calorie counting is kind of reevaluating figure out what can I eat that I'm going to enjoy that is not calorically dense but is dense food wise and you know if you like salads and stuff like that that's really good because you can eat a shit ton of salads um but if you're like me and you don't then it, it gets tricky but anyways we're getting off topic point about the 21 days is 
when you start something like this, when you first start it, it's tough, but after you get into a habit of it and you do it consistently, it becomes habit, it becomes a process, it becomes part of your daily life, it becomes a routine, and then once it becomes a routine, you know, you actually can start to enjoy it. So for the next 21 days, I will be meeting my metrics. And what I mean by metrics <coughs> is I'll be walking a minimum of a mile a day. Now, that doesn't sound like much for some people, but for people of my size, walking a mile and being out of shape, especially in Texas heat when it's 110 outside, that's tough. It's rough. So we're going to start with that and then we're going to scale it up. Um, but for the next 21 days, I will walk a mile a day, obviously going to stick with the diet. And we're also going to be working on some certifications for work. Um, I'm going to be specifically taking uh, one of the Azure, I think it's 104, which is the system administrator system let me know if you guys want to have separate videos for that um where we'd be talking about technical stuff and stuff like that so um, i'm going to try to keep the series separate because i, I think there are going to be people that are going to enjoy weight loss and the journey and then there's going to be people who enjoy tech stuff in that journey and those are technically two separate journeys and i don't think necessarily i mean there's going to be some mix over because obviously when you're in it we are prone to obesity we're prone to not moving we're prone to becoming a giant fat body so definitely a lot of people in the it field could utilize and use some of this but the hopes of this series is 21 days if i'm doing it on youtube then that's that's an accountability because it's requiring I'm making a video and you guys, I, I can't let y'all down because then I feel worse. Um, you know, obviously you're letting yourself down by not doing it. And that's the big thing. So um, we will see how this goes from here. Um, if this goes good and it's a, it's a good, um, good deal then we'll keep going with it but we're going to start off with 21 days um and i'll do i'm going to probably do daily updates um and then you know the, the rule is when i get off work i can't do anything else until i've walked my mile and done an hour of study and then after that i can uh, i can go and, and do and play so uh, we'll see how that goes i'll keep you updated uh, let me know what you guys think about this are you interested in the tech side and you know me going over what i'm going to be learning and things along those lines with azure if so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about calorie counting uh, what my basic uh, stuff that i'm going to be doing is let me know in the comment section below uh, we'll be tracking my steps with a variety of apps which i'll probably go into detail more on tomorrow um so yeah there will be some accountability there and i'll probably even be starting like a little group i gotta find out if i could share my progress without sharing my location so if i can find a way to do that then uh, i'll open up the group for uh everybody and people can join if they want and y'all can you know do it too if you want or not you can just stalk me and creepily count how many steps and maybe you know gamble on whether i hit my goals or not so <laughs> that being said um i appreciate you guys you know sticking with me through all this stuff i appreciate you guys um giving me an outlet to discuss this stuff um hopefully this will motivate some of you guys to make a change before you get to where i'm at uh, i wish i had done it much sooner uh, it's a lot easier to do it when you've only got to lose 50 pounds than it is when you've got to lose 200 um but you know we're gonna get there my brother did it i can do it it's mind over matter it is an easy process sort of it's an easy process and that you know a plus b equals c but it's it's a mind over matter process where you got to beat the weakness out of you and that's the tough part so we'll see where we go so like i said if you got any questions leave them in the comment section down below uh keep it respectful we'll see where we end up and uh wish me luck on this 21 day journey